Have you ever planted a seed, watered it, given it sunlight, did everything right, and nothing grew? It's likely that the soil didn't have the right nutrients for the plant to grow. Healthy plants rely on healthy soil. So how do we know how healthy our soil is? Growers have long used a process known as dry combustion analysis, or core sampling, to find out what nutrients their soil has and what nutrients it might need. By taking core samples directly from the earth, scientists measure the amount of organic carbon. Carbon is the main component of all biological organisms. The more carbon present, the healthier the soil. This process can take as long as two months or even six months in some cases, which means growers have to wait for the information they need now. That's why USDA's Agriculture Research Service partners with academia and commercial developers to find innovative solutions for problems just like this. Over the years, we have been trying to develop innovative ways to measure soils and, the, and specifically soil carbon. And we teamed up with, the, with scientists from Brookhaven National Lab, which is part of the Department of Energy, that focus on nuclear sites and measurement using gamma rays to determine content of different materials. And we worked with them to develop new ways of using their nuclear physics technologies in soils. This collaboration started many years ago. The first publication came out about 2008 in which we started looking at methods where we could have equipment that could actually measure the concentration of carbon in the soil at the atomic level. This particular technology allows us to scan the soil without actually taking the soil physically from the ground and so that we're actually measuring the carbon as it is in that particular place. The value of this tool is far-reaching. A process that used to take several months now only takes a day and provides data more precise and comprehensive than ever before. It should help to maximize the effectiveness of fertilizer, ensuring it's placed only where it's needed. And because every neutron interaction has its own signature, it will be able to map other kinds of elements found in the soil too. This may be beneficial for carbon sequestration efforts and the production of feedstock. Perhaps the next time you plant a seed, the soil you'll be using will have been analyzed in the same way. And this time, you'll finally have the healthy plant you wanted after all.